Hi guys, welcome to today's China code session. In this session, we are going to learn how to change the color of any of the element in your website dynamically. So, let's get started. First, we'll take an element that will be floating group. I'll place it just like the header. And we'll take icon and place it inside the header. Now we'll take group focus in which different icons will be placed for changing the color. The reference element will be icon FAFA bar. Now in this we'll place different icons by clicking on them the colors will be changed. Before that we'll go to the database and we'll add a new field in the user data type that will be color you can take any field name and the type will be text now we'll go back to the design and we'll take icon and place inside the group focus I am taking the shape circle. You can take any shape whatever you want to. And we will set the custom states. Add a new custom state. The state name will be same as you added the field name. So our custom state name will be color. And the type will be text. Now we'll set a default value for every of the icon color so that by clicking on the icon the color of the element will be changed. So if you remember any hash code you can just simply place it there or you can just set the color here and copy paste copy paste it there now we'll copy the icon and change the color hash code copy it and just paste it to the custom states default value you can take any number of icons Now the design part is completed. We will go to the workflow of the bar icon. The workflow we will add to this icon will be show an element and while clicking on the FAFA bar icon the element will be visible. is to be group focus and while clicking on the icon colors the workflow will be make changes to thing and the thing we have to change is the current user will add field under field we have 
is only one that is color this icons color now the same workflow we'll do for the rest of the icons make changes to thing you can also copy the workflow and just paste it to the next of the icons workflow you can also set the default value of the element let it be black color and also the we have to set the background color of the floating group dynamically background style will be flat color and instead of static we have to set it insert dynamic data and that will be current users color so while clicking on the elements the color of the floating group a will be changed so let's preview it just as we did for the floating group we can do for the background color of the full page we can just set it static as white and we'll open the properties of the page index we'll set the background color as flat color and the dynamic color current users color we'll preview it again so here it is we can change the background color also if you like the video don't forget to like and share with your friends also to see similar content do subscribe to our channel you can hit the bell icon to get notification whenever we post new content.